Oh, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet Gaia. Oh, little Earth. <sighs> okay. So, it appears as though there is an entire culture out there seeking to align humanity with its next space of understanding. That culture is um, comprised of anyone that <laughs> hopefully in a really um, reverent and loving and kind way and I know we all got different ideas on what compassion and love and kindness is all about so I totally get that but um, anyone in that culture that is uh, calling themselves a teacher is the culture that is um, tending to the awareness of cultivating in anyone willing to be a student of that particular teacher's awareness um, uh, cultivating uh, in that student the desire for learning and what that desire for learning grows into <laughs> is uh, the next uh, more broad maybe uh, perspective or awareness kind of like those uh, what are those little Russian stacking dolls you know like oh, uh, open it up open it up open it up open it up all the way down to these little tiny dolls it's almost like we're sort of um, building uh, new dolls of awareness around us. Not because we're building up walls of awareness, but we, we meet certain edges of our awareness as we uh, cultivate our desire to learn. At least constantly getting out of boxes really isn't getting out of um, that box necessarily. It's just being able to step into a, a bigger box, <laughs> look at the smaller box, be excited for a hot minute that you got into the bigger box, and then realize that you're gonna um, you're gonna meet you're gonna meet a new space of learning there as well. Um, but if that particular culture is ever cultivating ideas, on how to teach the teacher to teach the student that they're a teacher while that teacher is being the student. Sort of create this system, creating systems, creating systems, creating systems. This is a rolling system. I'm pretty sure I've already said this too many times. It's almost like if I say it again and again that maybe the next time it comes out it's actually going to it's actually going to make more sense. Like somehow uh, creating a system, somehow allowing a system, somehow creating the awareness in your own self to allow for learning ways to better support learning how to seek out the conditioning that will add vitality to your life. Um, being able to teach each other how to decipher uh, as we move through the space um. oh. but when you're hungry <laughs> you <know? laughs> when you're starving and you've uh, never worked on a laptop before and you've never seen the world in that size that that is a type of awareness. There is an entire culture of awareness that exists just like that where people are starving and behave accordingly, uh, never having 
had the opportunity to learn from such a ah, brilliant eh, let me show you this is can you see laptop oh no you can't see laptop I, laptop's eyeball doesn't go that far but laptop is opened up intense um, fields of awareness and you can see them all over the place um, who's who's grasping what concepts why they're grasping those concepts what's keeping them in the position w with maintaining those particular realities why it is that they're um, not necessarily looking for happiness um, because if if they were unhappy then they would they they would choose another route I mean it seems to me that if I were unhappy that I would stop I would look at everything that I was working with and I'd say what what parts of what I got going on here uh, are adding to the big picture of what it is that I wish to continue to cultivate in my experience and in my experience what I would like to continue cultivating is um, the interconnectedness of each of us conditioning one another um, and uh, if nothing else teaching teaching time in a different way that uh, it's it's not about this you know 12 to 12 to 12 but that it's um, it's these moments where when you arrive at that space where old boy over here isn't quite catching your drift and you're not quite catching old boy's drift that the space of love and understanding that comes with this next or this ever state of awareness is sort of understanding that it's all one thing um, together like that um, to stop and just say okay uh, so it looks like we don't quite get it like no I don't um, I don't get it okay well how about we come back to it some other time can we just let it naturally unfold yeah for sure best ever okay sweet and then you just kinda let it go if you keep in mind well you don't have to I will <laughs> because this is all about me everybody um, but if I keep in my mind, I think I'd like to have a cup of coffee right now, actually. And maybe I'll even stay up late tonight and put out a little Earth art poster. Because it's Earth Day. And I love the Earth. Um, shoot, where was I? Bugger. Oh, I'm sure it was something good. But um, to to be able to look at every th ah, people the the number of dialects you know what's funny when I was thinking this entire uh, little clip here there's a street a few blocks between um, Aquinas College and uh, what used to be known as Fulton Heights Foods I think it's probably a family fair now but there is this stretch of road that um, in the morning when I would go running on that stretch of road there would be a gentleman uh, who was a resident at the Holland home um, I think that's what it's called uh, and he would come and sit out on his little wheelie walker seat thing and I remember one morning stopping and talking to him and we had we had a lovely chat and my run um, changed uh, every uh, every time after that then because even when he wasn't there anytime I would run that zone I would be uh, met with a little smile it just for remembering uh, that I had decided to stop and um, not go about my business and go about a new kind of business 
um, and that business that day was to meet this um, person and have this experience and those moments are uh, sort of the fuel for why this particular being does what she does those real moments so when it that's where it was so when it comes down to it it's these real moments that matter it's uh it's the love it's the joy it's the happiness it's the it's the sing song it's the twirling dervishly it's the it's the meditation it's the the soft laughter of uh, being in one room and overhearing a, a chat between um, children as they're coloring in books and inventing and creating worlds um, and this moment here, when two people might not necessarily be saying what they wish they could be saying, even though we know it's all one, they have to surrender to that moment. Not because, not because either of them are right or wrong, but just because um, there are certain things about this universe, at least from my perspective, that lend themselves to um, a much more fruitful and pleasantly surprising outcome when we let go. <laughs> <laughs> and today on Earth Day, I took myself down to the lake and um, I told the lake a story today rather than wait for the lake to tell me a story. I felt that I owed it to the lake um, for everything that uh, the earth has offered me. And um, I am <sighs> I am happy. I am happy in my heart. And I guess that's all. Thank you, everybody, um, for everything that you do. <laughs> it's just, it's a wild, wild, beautiful world. And to think that I know so many people that are out there sharing their love so freely and giving themselves so freely and risking so much to to share what they feel the earth can really um, begin to cultivate even more. Thank you. I am humbled by your intensely amazing works of awe. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, I guess that's all. Bye-bye. <laughs>